Hello people, my name is Andrew and lately I've been doing some 3D printing. If you have the time, patience, and anti-anxiety medication, it can be a pretty fun hobby. I recently printed this Dry Bones Koopa Troopa character from the Mario universe. It's a pretty cool model and it stands on its own, but also has moving parts. Painting it will be a bit of a challenge, but I wanted to film the process anyways because it's not about the challenge, it's about the friends we make along the way, or something like that. Let's get started. The first thing I do is give it a white base coat. This will help the next colors pop. Next I'm going to start putting down more layers. I start with some light blue on the shell and shoes. Next I start aging them bones with uh, some of my favorite yellow color. I went a bit heavy with it, but I'm going to lighten it back up with some dry brushing later. Now I'll paint the gloves that I totally didn't forget about, and this is where I run into the annoying part about painting a floppy rag doll of a model. You will inevitably move the model and get wet paint in areas where you don't want it. Next I'm going to do a wash of a dark blue and dab most of it off with a paper towel. This lets it get into the cracks and gives some more dimension. This model also comes with a flippin' sweet staff. I give the crystal at the top a white undercoat because I want it to be bright and the rest gets a coat of a nice wooden-ish brown. To make this crystal really glow, I'm gonna use a bright green paint that actually glows under UV light. This stuff kinda goes on thin, so I end up doing a ton of coats. And about this time, I realized the model also printed with a Luigi hat that we still need to paint. So we'll do that now. Now that the base coat is dry, I'll dry brush some yellow highlights onto it and call it good. I painted the eyes red, but what I want to do next is use some of this really black paint to paint his eye sockets. This paint is called Black 4.0 and it's insanely black. The last thing left to do is finish this sweet staff. I put a product called Rub and Buff on the handle to give it a metallic finish. And at this point, I'm pretty much done with this project, so let's move on to the glamour shots. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had a fun time making it, and I'll catch you guys next time.